Hi, welcome to chapter 9 of the code examples for the UVM primer. Uh, this example, or this chapter, is called the factory chapter, and we're going to talk about how to create a factory, which is an object-oriented programming trick. Uh, we're going to use the fact that we have three classes here, a base class called animal, uh, and then lions and chickens, which are types of animals. And if we look at our factory class, what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a flexible way to create these types of objects without having to have a variable hard-coded in that says that this is going to be a lion or a chicken. We'd like to have a variable called animal and we could put lions or chickens into it. We do that with this idea of a factory. So we have a class here named animal factory and the animal factory has a static function so it can be called with the colon colon and we pass this make that's called make animal and we pass it uh, a species, an age, and a name. So the, these are strings, the species and the age, and then there's the uh, species and the name, and then the age is an integer. Inside here we have a variable of type chicken and a variable of type lion, and then we do a case statement on the species. And you can see that we look here and we see if this species is set to lion, then we create a new lion right here. Uh, or if this species is set to chicken, we create a new chicken. If it's neither, we complain that there's no such animal as whatever the heck it was you asked us for. And then uh, we return either the lion or the chicken right here. But because this is a function of type animal, we can store the output of this function in an animal variable. So we have an animal variable which we can use to make either lions or chickens. So let's see how this gets used. We go down to our uh, to our module. <laughs> we have a variable of type animal, a variable of type lion, and a variable of type chicken. Um, and then we've got a bit that we're going to use for error checking. And the very first thing we do is we make ourselves a lion. So we say uh, animal gets a uh, an animal factory call to make animal. We pass it the string lion, the age 15, and the name Mustafa. And we have the animal make a sound, and immediately we'll see the lion says roar, because this factory is going to create a lion and put it into the animal. Now, what if we wanted to check for thorn and paw? If we look back at our, um, if we look back at our other diagram, we see thorn and paw only exists in lions. Animals don't generically have thorn and paw, and so we have to convert this animal to a lion. And we do that with a thing called a system verilog cast. So this dollar cast takes as the left hand argument the variable that we're putting the data into and as the right hand argument where we're getting it from. And this is since this is an animal uh, it can become a lion. Now if this animal were holding a chicken we tried to put the chicken into the lion variable we would get um, an error. Cast would return a zero and we see here when we check cast OK, we'd see well we failed to cast uh, animal to lion, animal handle to lion animal, clearly because it had the wrong kind of object in it. Assuming that we the cast works, we now have in lion uh, a variable of type lion, and lions have thorn and paw, so we can check that. And then we put the lion in the cage, and again we ha we have to do the cast before we can put him in the cage because this has been parameterized to be of type lion. So you can see us starting to use all of our different tricks together. We've got parameterization in here, and we've got static methods, and we're starting to uh, sort of build on top of those. If we want to, we can do the cast and the call to the factory all in one line. So in this case, we're making an animal. It returns animal, but we immediately cast it into type lion. Uh, we complain if we didn't get this whole business working. Um, but once we have the lion, we can put him in the cage. Now here you can see we're making a chicken. So we pass it the string chicken. It's a one-year-old chicken named Clucker. We pass it the name chicken, and uh, it, if this doesn't work, and we don't get, for example, if we wrote misspelled chicken, uh, we'll get a fatal error. Uh, and if we got back something other than a chicken, we'd get a fatal error. But assuming this all works, we'll get this chicken from Animal Factory and put it into the chicken variable. And then we can put the chicken in the cage. And this is a chicken cage. 
We do this cast again, again passing it the string chicken. Now this string could have come from here it's hard coded in, but it could have come from a file. It could have been typed in by the user. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that that string could have been created. The key is the flexibility. And then now that we've created these animals, we can list them out. So we see here now at the factory, and the factory is going to be big in using the UVM, that we have a way of flexibly creating different kinds of objects uh, and without having to hard code the variable that they're going into. And we can use polymorphism to store them into a more generic version of the variable.